Hello, it's Behaving Beardly. We're back with another streamer's DIY video, and today we're going to have a look at creating your own alerts. Um, so this is a good video for anyone who doesn't want to pay someone to make their alerts, or maybe is stuck using stock alerts. It's actually quite simple and easy, and um, I get compl complimented a lot on my alerts. I made them myself. I think uh, alerts are a really good way to make your channel stand out. Um, I know when I get a follow, uh, I instantly get a bunch of more follows from people that are maybe watching and haven't followed yet, just because they want to see the alerts go again. And it's same with donations, bits, and things like that. Um, but we'll talk more about that as we go along. Let's get straight into it. First of all, ignore the fact I'm a floating head today. It's, 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 for, it's for something else. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> as you can see here, we're on the Streamlabs website. I'll flick between Streamlabs and Stream Elements. They're both pretty much the same setup. Um, here on the page, you can see, um, well, first of all, we need to click on Alert Box. So up here, I'm going to assume you know a lot of the basic stuff. I'm going to assume you've already set up your Alert Box on Streamlabs and things. If you've got any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Um, but this is just basically how to create your own alert. So as you can see here, this is my follower alert. That's an uh, image file. There's a sound file. You can change kind of general settings here. I don't want to go into this in too much detail. Just just go through it and have a look and, and tweak what you want. One thing I will say, I've got my alert delay to two seconds because my follower alert is quite long. When I get multiple follows, it won't play some of them because they over, overlap. Um, so I've just changed that to two to fix that. Um, and here we go. You can choose whether the image is above the text. The text is above the image. Text is next to the image. The animation, um, the, the the actual message template that comes up on the screen. So as you can see, mine is follower's name is following. The wiggle animation. There's the video. There's sound effect. The volume. Again, just play with that. Alert duration. I've got nine seconds because that is the length of the video and sound effect. And just to quickly show you what my follower alert looks like, follower alert, um, let's click test follow. Oh my God. Becky, look at his beard. It's just so beard. I was slightly out of sync, which normally happens with the first one. Let me press it again. Oh my there we go. God. Becky, look at his beard. It's just so beard so there's my uh, follower alert um so i'm going to quickly show you how to basically get a video make it into a gif um separate the sound and things like that again as per usual only using free software so the web so first of all we need a video um now i don't want to show you how basically get permission if you're going to use anybody else's videos my video you can see here, the two girls, um, is, is from a music video. Um, Psycho Stick, by the way. Huge shout out to Psycho Stick and the song Obey the Beard. That's the clip from their video there, music video. And then obviously I've just put a snip of myself in the middle. I got their permission before I used that video. I sent them an email. So if you want to use anyone's music video or images, or if you've seen a video on YouTube, contact them first. Um, so for the sake of today, we'll just record a quick video ourselves. Let me bring up Snapcam and take a quick video. I don't know. Um, we'll just go. Oh, I didn't even press the video. Wow, that's embarrassing. I've, I haven't got a shortcut key for it. Um, right, take video. There we go. Two second video. Um, so we'll save that. We'll put that on the desktop for now. MP4, uh, test. Terst. I'm going to leave it as terst alert. Terst alert. Save. Okay, and we need to convert that into a GIF. Now, if you wanted to put, if you were to take a video of yourself like I've done and go, thanks for the follow, do that as well. Just, if you want to use sound, and video do that and we'll I'll talk about how to separate them. Um or if you want to put your own custom sound over the top, just just a quick video. 
Um, and again, you can use any video for this. So we're going to go to a website called easygif.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description below on uh, for this. And obviously, this is to convert the, um, the video into a GIF. So we're going to click on Video to GIF. I'm trying to do this in one take again, so apologies. Uh, choose the file. It was on desktop. And what do we call it? Terrorist alert. Terrorist alert. There it is. Uh, upload video. You can actually use a video URL, but again, seek permission. Um, so there's the video. We're going to start time. Yeah, end time. Yeah, start to finish. Size. Now, just leave this as default for now and convert to GIF. What you need to bear in mind is Streamlabs don't allow you to upload a GIF that's bigger than um, 9 megabyte. So that needs to, if you look down here, this video is only 2.27. Um, what you can do here is crop, resize it, rotate it. You can change these settings here. So if it's too big, drop the size. Um, you can drop the frame rate. I think I'm going to up the frame. I don't know. We'll leave it for now. It doesn't matter. It's only a test. So I'm going to crop this. Because you can see it's a snap cam at the bottom left there. So I don't want that. I'll pull this in. And we'll keep it there. So crop image. And then when you go down, there is the new, the new file, only one megabyte. So we'll save that. That's now saved. I'll put that on my desktop. There we go. And then we're going back into Streamlabs. Now what I'm going to do, rather than messing with my current alerts, I'm going to set this up as a variation. So you would you wouldn't do this. You would do it on the um, the normal. So basically, let me go back. You'd add that file here. So you'd click on change media uh, for the video file. So terst. <laughs> um, so this is basically when you add variations, it's different alerts to your normal one. So the condition um, is currently set to random. It doesn't matter because this is what you'd be basically using. So we're going to upload the video, which was on desktop. It was called Terst. Oh, sorry. No, it's the Easy Gift Crop. There it is. I am flying through this pretty quickly. So if you do have questions, again, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, select that image. There we go. Then you need a sound effect. Now, again, you can, if you want to use the voice from the video or anything like that, um, I'm going to just quickly find a sound effect that I maybe already got on my computer. Let's um, have a look. There we go. We'll use this. Drag and drop. There we go. Brilliant. So, person's name is now following. Whoopee. And text animation. So, these are the different ones. So, we'll leave Tadar on, which I think just makes it kind of appear. Sound volume, you can tweak that as you go. Alert duration, eight seconds, not needed. So we'll just change that to two seconds. You can choose your font size, font color. So we'll do red and orange. Again, you can just tweak all these yourself. So there, so basically I'd have done that here. Change media, added the media, change the sound effect. You can have text above um, the picture, whatever. You can do whatever you want here, get creative. Um, so there's the one that I've just quickly set up. Let's do a quick test. There we go. Um, what I'll do just to show, I, I forgot it actually loops the um, the media. So I'll make that five seconds. And test. There we go. I'm sorry, something I mentioned at the start of the video, I've just added this in afterwards. Um, I do have variations for bits and things. So this is when um, creating your alerts can have a really positive impact on your stream. You can incentivize, um, say, people to donate a certain amount of bits or donations to set off certain certain alerts. Um, so, for example, when someone donates 666 bits on my channel. Its number is 666. Oh, in spirit! My beard! Um, this that is a test bit alert. That happens, and then I set off a custom scene 
But I'm not going to show you that. You'll have to tune in to see it. <laughs> but uh, my standard um, bit alert is uh, just the end of that video, actually. Let me... Odin's beard! My beard! So there we go. It really is that simple. Just um, quickly, I'll jump into Stream Elements and show you very, very quickly whereabouts it is on Stream Elements. But if you use Stream Elements, I'm sure you know. Basically, go to your overlay. There we go. Go to your alert box. There it is. Follower alert. Click on the cog. And again, it's here. Change image. Upload sound. So basically, get your video file. Go to Easy GIF. Convert it into a GIF. Add your sound effects. It's really that simple. If you record a video with sound and you want to use the sound as well, um, just go to... Just Google how to separate. I think there's a website. Let me let me find it. Um, video, no, MP4. I've forgotten the name of the website. MP4 to MP3. Uh, online video converter, is that the one? Yep, this is the one. Oops, ignore all the adverts. I need to put an ad blocker up. I've just reformatted my computer. So basically, get your MP4. Drop the file in there. Um... And it, it, will sep it, will, it will separate the audio into an MP3 for you. So you can then add that into your audio there. It really is that simple, right? I have tried to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, as per usual, I'm not a YouTuber, but I'm enjoying doing these videos. So if you've got any suggestions, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, have a look at my last two videos. Uh, there was uh, about separating audio and how to get your OBS to balance your audio levels for you so when you speak it dips the the volume of the music and things like that uh, if you want to see more of these videos do comment do like do subscribe otherwise there's not much point in me making them this is a new venture for me i am a twitch streamer i stream every tuesday thursday and sunday from 9 p.m it'd be an honor and a privilege to have you join us but ladies and gentle beards until next time my name is jimmy this is behaving beardly you haven't enjoyed yourself, well, stick with it. It'll grow on you.